In this example, we're asked to solve this recurrence relation, a sub n equals 2 times a sub n minus 1, with initial condition a naught equals 8, by inspection. So this, if you just look at it, the recurrence relation says that the next term, a sub n, is equal to twice the previous term, a sub n minus 1. This should give us an indication that this is a geometric sequence. So this looks geometric. Remember, geometric sequences are those for which the ratio of two adjacent terms is a constant. So we can see that this will be geometric, in fact, by just dividing through both sides by a sub n minus 1. And when we do this, we get the ratio, the common ratio, r, of any two terms, a sub n, a sub n minus 1, this ratio, is in this case always equal to 2. So 2 is the common ratio. And I think we'll remember that the formula, the general formula for a geometric series is that it should be a sub n equals some initial condition, a naught, times the common ratio to the power n. All right, And so, of course, when n is equal to 0, that's when you get a sub 0. And we're told that a sub 0 for this one is equal to 8. And just by inspection here, plugging in everything that we've uh, recognized from this one, we see that our ratio is 2, our initial condition is 8, and so the closed form of this recurrence relation, or the solution to this recurrence relation, is a sub n equals 8 times 2 to the power n. All right, but I'm sure we all know that 8 is really 2 to the third power. So this can be written as 2 to the third times 2 to the n. And we can combine this whole thing to be 2 to the n plus third power. And that is a solution, or the solution, I should say, to this recurrence relation with the initial condition that was given. So just by inspecting the series, asking about what the behavior is, and noticing that that reminds us of a geometric series, we were able to solve this recurrence relation. That's why it says by inspection. Another method, if you don't realize, if, if you don't notice this uh, relationship just by doing inspection, another method is to just start with the initial condition, a naught equals 8, and then just start plugging into the formula. So a sub 1 is equal to 2 times a sub 0, which is 2 times 8. Right? a sub 2 is then 2 times a sub 1, which is 2 times 16, that's 32, and eventually you'll notice this pattern and you'll arrive at the same solution. So either way you do it is fine. We did it by inspection.